everyone, welcome back. My name is Stephanie Yin. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top mistakes that I find in September. So let's get started with 30 to 20 Q mistakes. The first mistake is to destroy an unnecessary eye before in close. So here is the example. So in the actual game, Black played this move. Oh, by the way, this is a game uh, played by human players and an uh, uh, AI player. So white is a uh, computer player. So in the actual game, black played here and is trying to, black is trying to destroy the eye of this group. But is this the good move? Um, the answer is no. Because as we can see, there's a way for white to Atari and then connect. And now there's nowhere for black to enclose this group. So this group has escaped. So where is the correct move to attack this white group on the top? So as we can see on the left side, black already have a two stones here. And as long as we can enclose on the top, and there's not enough eye space on the top for white to make. So if we can enclose, that means this group is really in danger. So make sure you always enclose the, gr the weak group before you destroy the eye space. That's the first mistake. Now let's look at the second one. The second mistake by 30 to 20 Q player is to watch into a one space jump. Here is the example. So in the actual game, black played here. Is this a good move? No, of course this is not a good move. Because when black goes here, if white Atari is on the top, and black has to run, but since it's too close to the edge, there's no way for black to run to escape. So the wedge into a two space, to one space strong is a really bad move. But now let's look at the, the example on the top. How about the wedge here? Um, I remember a lot of people asking me the similar questions. What if I have a two stones on, uh, on the both sides and uh, I, I'm trying to attack the one space jump? Is the wedge good? But the answer is no. The wedge is, is also not good because when white Atari is from one side and it connects, so now there's only one cutting point left. So in order to attack this group, black has to cut. But since black played a wedge and pull back these two moves, the stone get hurt. And then white keep pushing over here. So now if black try to save the stone, the stone on the cutting point will be laddered. But if black Atari here to try to kill the stones on the top and the stone on the side is gonna die. So the wedge usually is not a very good move. And I have been seeing a lot of people playing the wedge here and try to attack the one space jump. Okay, so when does the wedge work? When you have the both wall on, the outs uh, on, the, on both sides. And because after you wedge here, no matter where white Atari is, and you can always connect that stone back and leave two cutting points to white. So that means white is not able to save the group on the, on the bottom or on the top. So you can always separate them and cut. Okay, so whoever is watching this video, you should remember this. Do not wedge into a one space jump unless you have a two strong wall on both sides. Please repeat with me. Okay, I don't, do not make the same mistake again. All right, so now let's look at the mistakes by 19 to 10 Q players. The first mistake by 19 to 10 Q player is a wrong way to invade in a moyo. So here is the example. So as we can see, black is creating a huge moyo on the bottom. And the question now is, where is the best way to invade in, into a, such uh, a big moyo? So in the actual game, white approach here. So usually the approach is a good move when, you, when you're trying to attack the corner. But in this situation, since black is having a lot of stones on the outside, and in the actual game, 
the stone, this white stone got pincered. And now we can see black as having a strong wall on the left. And if white jumped to the corner, yeah, of course, black is able to live in the corner. However, living in the corner is not big enough in this situation because the outside, the moya on the outside is, is getting too big. So where is the way to avoid the pincer? So the correct way is to play the splitting move. This is called a split. So before you play the splitting move, you have to make sure you have enough space to take a two space extension on both sides. That means if black approach from one side, you are able to extend the two space extension to get your base or eye space on the bottom. If black approach from this side, the same thing, you can make a two space extension to get your base. So usually when you try to invade your opponent territory, if you are able to make two space extension, that shape is always the best shape to settle your group. Okay, so whoever is watching this video, the splitting move, remember the splitting move is always the good way to invade or try to split your opponent's territory. All right, so now let's look at the second mistake. The next mistake by 19 to 10 kill player is a round move to punish a round move in Joseki. Here is the example. So in the actual game, Black actually made the mistake first. Black played here. So the correct Joseki is here. And then white block and black makes one space jump to escape. And white can either enclose on the top or fix the weakness on the top. But in the actual game, black peeped the first. Black is trying to attack these two white stones on the bottom before, um, before jump out, before escape. So in the actual game, white uh, enclosed on the top and let a black push through and cut the stone off. And now everything is connected. So the mistake is this move. So instead of in enclosed on the top, white should connect on the bottom. It looks like it's a very dangerous move because there's, of course there's a gap here and black is going to push through. But even though black is able to put through a cut through here, white is able to honey on the top. And now black needs to make a very bad shape that's called the empty triangle. And then now white can make a tiger's mouth here. So since white has three more stones over here, then black needs to play actual move to settle on the bottom. So now black, white has a sente and white can come back to block here. Now you can see um, even though black is getting out uh, and separating white, but actually black is getting weaker and white's group on the top is connected with the, the corner on the top. And then the five stones on the bottom is in a very good position. So that's why this is the mistake uh, in this one space pincer Joseki. So we should always settle our group first and then attack your opponent. But in the actual game, white didn't, didn't know that this is the correct move. So white also made mistake. Okay, that's it for the 19 to 10 Q players. And now let's look at the 9 to 1 Q player mistakes. The first mistake by 9 to 1 Q player is a wrong move to attack Tiger's Mouth. So here is the example. So in the actual game, white played a push on the top and black is stand and white enclose on the bottom and white black extend on the top. So which move is the wrong move? The wrong move is the push on the top. So as we can see, the black white corner is really strong. It has a lot of eyes already. So if we push on the top, we're not actually attacking black. Instead, we're, we're helping black to make more eye space on the top. So where is the correct way to attack? So now we can see the four stones on the top is kind of squeezed. So the best way to attack a tiger's mouth in this situation is to peep. 
So because of the cutting point here, and black needs to connect. So after black connects, now you can see all the shapes, all the shape, it's a uh, dumpling shape. They're all squeezed together. And then black, white, it, white can make a one space jump and attack this group. So usually when you have a strong group on the, top, on, on the board, you don't want to attack your opponent group from your uh, stronger group. Instead, you want to push um, the weak group to your stronger side. So that's the first mistake. And now let's look at the second mistake. The first mistake by 9 to 1 Q player is the wrong defense in the letter. So here is the example. So in the actual game, white cut here and black Atari, that's not a wrong move because uh, these two black stones are on the bottom are weak. So black Atari and white extended. So since the ladder is working for, for white, black is not able to play the ladder here because uh, eventually a uh, white is going to connect. So where is the correct move? to defend or to protect the both groups when the ladder is not working. So in the actual game, Black decided to give up the two stones on the, on the, right, side, on the uh, right side. And then, and then these two Black stones are dead, which is not a very good way to deal with this situation because as we can see, this group is actually not that strong yet. So if we are able to save the two black stones, later on we can still attack this group on the bottom. So should, where should we play to protect our two groups? The correct move is to extend. So I see a lot of people play Atari again, uh, well, even though the ladder doesn't work because uh, maybe they think the Atari is still attacking move. But the Atari, at least Atari in this situation is a bad move because after Atari, the ladder doesn't work, then we have to extend. And then White will push, since the, the bottom group is not that strong yet, we still have to play actual move to protect. But now we can see there's another cutting point on the top. So if we can remove this stone to here, isn't it a better situation? So that's why extending here in this situation is better than Atari because when we extend here, the next move is the net. So we can uh, actually kill the two white stones. So white still has to push and push and escape. But the position over here of this move is much better than the move over here. So the extending is the correct move in this situation. All right, now let's look at the next mistake. The first mistake by one to four done player is the wrong way to deal with both attack and defend. Here is the example. So now it's way to play. So as we can see in this bottom left corner, there's a there is the very complicated fight. Um, so as we mentioned before, when you have a stronger group, you always push you, uh, your opponent weak group to your stronger side. But white corner is not that strong yet. It's not even alive yet. So in the actual game, white pushed here and black played a jump and extend and black connect and white push it again, black extend and push, and then one space jump, and extend, and eventually white is, white is able to connect everything in the middle. But now we can see the three white stones on the bottom is in danger, and uh, later on the three stones are dead. So that's not a good way to deal with attack and defend in this situation. So where is the correct way? It was looked like that. Okay. So the best move in this situation is to play the knight's move. So since we're our corner, the white corner is not that strong, we don't want to push 
uh, the black group in the center too close to our weak side. Instead, we want to get further from, from, uh, from black. So if we play this move, at the same time, we're giving more pressure on this black stone. So if, if black extended here, then we can make one space jump. We're kind of a little bit further from the three stones, and we're getting more help on the right side. And if we can get some sente, instead of we're going to push here now, white is going to cap on the top. So that's the good strategy to deal with attack and defend situation at the same time. So if we play on the top directly without any help on the right side, the stone will be enclosed and uh, there's not enough space for white to make eyes. So that's why we want to get some little help from the, from the outside or the right side so that we can enclose on the top. So if, if black play here to escape and uh, white can push one more time and, and extend, and now you can see either we can play the, the move as the actual game, and now you can see the three stones over here. It's harder for black to attack, but at the same time, you, can, you don't have to play this move to connect because we're already, we're already escaped. Instead, we can play the tiger's mouth here and giving even more pressure on the two black stones. So that's the first mistake, and now let's look at the second one. The last mistake in this month is the wrong attacking direction. So here is the example. So now we can see white is controlling on the right side and black has the corner and a little influence or moyo on the top. So in the actual game, black played this move and attach and white connects and black pulled the stone back and this is the actual game. So after this exchange moves on the board, um, black's corner is getting stronger but at the same time the moyo on the top is getting smaller because white group here is already alive. So the direction of attacking in this situation is uh, wrong. So instead, play the shoulder hit and then close on the top from this direction. Black actually should play the shoulder hit here and enclose over here. And then white will probably play the same moves to get more eye space. And now you can see after this exchange move on the top, the moyo on the top is getting bigger. So the corner is still fine and black now still have the sente. So either black play the exchange move here and play the one space jump and to protect all the territory in the corner or actually black can tanuki and keep um, expanding the, t the, the moyo on the top. So this is a very um, this is very common in your game. So w when you try to attack the, the tube space extension on the side, you always have two ways. The first one is I just showed you to play the shoulder hit on the top, or you can actually play um, uh, the peep, I would say, uh, on the bottom to take uh, the eye space away so that you can play the bump and now connect. But in this situation, since black has, is having a moya on the top, this is not a very good way to attack white. Because you, you, when you attack, you don't really, you can't really uh, kill that group, but we always want to gain some profit from attacking. So the profit of attacking this group is to expand the moya on the top. So that's why we should play the shoulder hit here and extend uh, and enclose on the top. All right, and that's it. That's all the mistakes that I find in September. And if you have any questions, you can go to our website or follow us on Twitter and Facebook page. So my name is Stephanie Yin. I will see you next time.